hey, 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 Jimmy, um, what do you what do you think, you guys? I know you guys were confident uh, that you'd be able to bounce back, but being able to actually go out and do it, what do you think you learned about yourselves over the last week and coming away with the win tonight? Um, you know, it was really just about coming into this game. I mean, you could feel in the locker room throughout the entire week. Just it was, it was a different mindset that everyone had, you know. And uh, I mean, the last couple of weeks before this, no one liked that feeling. It, it wasn't who we are as a team. And I think this week uh, just kind of got us back right on track. Jimmy, can you uh, describe the, the touch you have to put on those uh, short tosses to Debo, especially the, uh, you know, just whether it was the ones at the start or the one that kind of clinched the game at the end there? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a different type of play, but, uh, I mean, it's all around the NFL now. Debo, I mean, I think he's the best in the league at it. The guy, uh, he runs like a running back, has moves like a receiver. I mean, it's, it's unique what he can do with the ball in his hands. And, um, yeah, we just uh, – it was, it was a great – Great offensive job tonight, great defense. I mean, it was all three phases working together. The Rams moved uh, Aaron Donald all around the field uh, like they usually do, but he was mostly lined up uh, over Daniel Brunskill for this game. Um, I mean, obviously this is a uh, after I see the film type of question, but what was your sense of, of how he blocked and how he did against uh, Aaron Donald? I, th I thought the O-line as a whole just did a phenomenal job. In the run game, it started with the run game, uh, and then the pass game. I mean, the pockets were clean all night. Uh, there was a couple third downs where I held the ball for a little extra long. Just the coverage was good, and they, uh, I mean, they didn't get near me. I didn't get hit very much. Felt great coming out of this game. It was um, when the O-line plays like that, I mean, it sets a tone for our whole offense, and they, they did it tonight. Jimmy? Everybody's talked about how great practice was this week. How much did that affect what you were able to do on the field? And then also you said goodbye to the cutouts on your way out of the stadium today. Can you talk about how much you missed the fans? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, pra practice, I think, you know, I think it always starts with your Wednesday, Thursday, Friday practice. Um, that's what sets the tone for the rest of the week. And, you know, guys came with the right mindset. Like I said it before, but it was just when guys come in and guys are locked in, taking it seriously, and every play, every, every snap, it just, um, you know, it makes a difference on Sunday. And then, uh, yeah, as far as saying we miss you, the faithful, we really do miss you guys out there, man. It's, uh, it's different without fans. It's, it's tough, but, you know, we're making the best of the situation. But just uh, faithful, we know that we miss you guys out there. Jimmy, you looked a lot more comfortable out there tonight than you did the week earlier against the Dolphins. And I'm just wondering, did it feel that way right away from the outset? And if so, was it more um, physical for you because of the ankle, or were you just uh, in a better rhythm from the start? Uh, yeah, the ankle's definitely. I mean, it's it's made a made improvements this week. Um, so I could, yeah, I could lean on it a little bit more. Was able to move in the pocket a little bit. Just was able to be myself really this this week. But um, yeah, it, it started with a good good week of practice, and you know, got to thank the medical staff for for doing their part. Jimmy, on the fourth down uh, pass to Kittle, obviously against an all-out blitz, are you throwing it? You know, you're almost having just to assume he's open, or, or, or did you know he was open when you threw it, and obviously you're going to take a hit? Uh, well, a little bit of both. Um, I mean, we were hot on the play. They had an extra rusher, so uh, the ball had to come out quick. George, you know, he snapped it off, and that's kind of one of those timing uh, plays where, you know, we just have to be on the same page, and we've done it so many times in practice that it really worked out, and he did the rest with his feet. I didn't get to see it, but I, I heard it was a pretty uh, sweet play. Jimmy, you've practiced against Jason Verrett. So curious what you think um, are his strengths as a cornerback and, and how how much do you think his interception on that fourth down play in the end zone changed the game tonight? Oh, it was huge. I mean, that was a huge turning point in the game. Just, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure what coverage or anything we were in, but just the, the play he made on it, keeping his feet in bounds. I mean, it was a hell of a play. He, he played great tonight he's um you know JV he's, he's one of those guys just uh you know even if you get down on him if he has a bad day or something like that he has the mindset where he comes back the next day and he's ready to fight and that's what I really respect out of the guy you know when a guy can um do that on a day-to-day -day basis it he earns your trust as a teammate hey Jimmy um how much does it change not having a guy like Raheem Mostert on the field with you guys it's definitely different. Uh, you know, Raheem is so unique, just uh, his speed and how he hits the hole and how he sees things. But, um, you know, I thought Jet and uh, Haste stepped up, stepped up big tonight. You know, Hasty came in at the end there, 
got some carries and uh, you know he was seeing things very well, especially for a guy who hadn't played the first three quarters. So uh, our running backs, we, we're pretty deep there, man. So it's uh, it's a good group of guys to be around. Hey, Jimmy, after your third down run to set up the field goal with the hit that you, you kind of delivered on your own, uh, the cameras got you smiling. Uh, what, what was going through your head at that point? And how big was that play uh, for the team? Uh, well, I knew where we needed to get to. Um, didn't really want to slide and even make a longer field goal. So I was trying actually to get down a little bit. Uh, <laughs> DB wanted to, I don't know, just kind of happened uh, last second, run into each other like that. But it was uh, it was a big big point of the game just to get us another three points, uh, keep that lead, and really help the defense out. Hey, Jimmy, I know after last week you said your your confidence wasn't shaken at all, but did it did it help you at all to get kind of those uh, those plays right at the beginning of the game that were just basically extensions of the run game, but get a couple quick easy completions to get you going a little bit? Uh, yeah, I think that's just that's part of our offense. That's a, when we're at our best is when we could run the ball like that, uh, have the RPOs off of it, play. I mean, when we're when Kyle's mixing all that stuff up like that, it it makes it hard on defenses. I mean, really, just it's it's what what pick your poison type of thing and. Kyle did a great job tonight putting us in good positions. Uh, you know, he, he was on point tonight, and so it makes all of our jobs a lot easier. Jimmy, you talked earlier in the week about the team having not found its identity. Do you feel like how you played tonight, you guys are closer to that? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We're definitely moving in the right direction. I wouldn't say we're totally there yet. Uh, you know, there's still a lot of football left in the season, but it's – um. You know, how we finished this game, it, it felt a lot like last year, just how we uh, controlling the clock at the end of the game, running the ball, converting third downs, and uh, that's when we really put teams away, and that's what we did tonight. Jimmy, uh, George has talked very specifically about the offensive captains needing to raise their game, pointing to himself, obviously, but other captains. Obviously, he's a guy who plays real hard and makes big plays. How does that come about? Come across when you, when you hear something like that? Uh, Good. Good. I think it needs to be said. Uh, you know, whenever guys are holding each other accountable, uh, whenever guys hold themselves accountable, I think it's a good thing. It's just, you know, the NFL is hard. It's, uh, you know, not every week's going to be fun, not, not going to be pretty. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you got to find a way to get the W and then move on to next week. And so when the captains can have that mindset and, and we set the tone like that, I think it just trickles down to everyone else. Jimmy, speaking of next week, uh, you'll be going back to Boston to play the Patriots. Um, what are your thoughts on going back there, and how much of a momentum boost is this win for that? Uh, it'll be cool, you know, get back to the old stomping grounds, uh, see some familiar faces. But you know, we'll enjoy this one tonight. Uh, get on the film for the Patriots and everything tomorrow. And um, yeah, this uh, this win will definitely give us a little momentum. But next week is uh, it's going to be another dogfight. <laughs> 